Okay. Tell, so this is this is what's going on here. Okay, so Daisy. So tell me what you did. I got Daisy these little wraps for her feet. I don't know if you can tell. So when she gets cold, they're like the wraps when you go to the vet and they give them a shot. But he, we've never seen her walk so fast. And he's she's walking like super fast now because of it. The other dogs eat here. Here, show show everyone. We have Farmer's Dog, that's what we this use. Is, it says Capone's name on it, but we're going to give some to Daisy today. Yeah, we share theirs because they only eat one-fourth cup of food. They what? They only eat one-fourth cup of food. Jay's the gourmet chef when it comes to the kids. Okay, so today is breakfast time. Well, you don't eat, um, you don't eat anything. I got, I got this though. Check this out. Got some watermelons. I'm gonna have some zero sugar. This. What is that? Jeff would say that's bad. Hey, yeah. Jeff heard our. We say that the last time. What? It was bad for us. He's almost done with his. Check this out. Baby, you like those, huh? Are you, uh, what are you having today? No, I show you the phone. You want any turkey bacon or? Yes. How much? All right, so two over easy eggs, Ezekiel bread. I have some cottage cheese here. I'm gonna do the cottage cheese. I'm trying to show it the wrong camera. Watermelon, uh, turkey bacon, and then I'll have some oatmeal too. So breakfast of champions, guys. This is a little bit of our morning, our morning to do here. I just got home from the office. Okay, so I'm back to feeding, feeding Capone at least. They wasn't too, too crazy. I did ship some orders and handled some, uh, some business. Went to the print shop, picked up some, some more gym bags came in today actually. So someone, someone ate their food while I was gone. So Daisy's notorious for not eating her food immediately. We usually leave it, but Angie left to go to a, I think she's at a hot yoga class. So someone ate food while we were gone, but I'm wondering if it's, if it's him or if it's her. I'm going to, I'm going to cook some rice right now. I have this rice cooker going here, as you can see. Let's see if it falls. See the rice there? I'm having it tracking on my face, so I'm gonna cook some. I'm gonna cook some ground beef, and I'm gonna have. So let's see. I had one meal at the office. I have one or two. So this is, I think, four o'clock. It's my. It's my fourth meal, third meal. Then probably maybe get some training in tonight, we'll see. If not, I'm gonna put training on the next clip, okay? All right, so it's nine o'clock. I'm finally heading off to go train. Today was one of those days where I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna work out or not. Uh, but I was sitting around and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hit some shoulders. So two days ago, I had some therapy on my my one shoulder. So I was getting some, I was told bicep tendon tightness. So that's why I always talk about the importance of tissue work, right? So 
that was a day before yesterday so I had yesterday I let it rest a little bit and today I'm gonna go hit the gym so uh, a little later than what I normally like but I did get four meals in me so definitely 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 feel uh, up to it and I'm gonna hit kilo club it's gonna be super quiet there so I'm gonna do a little filming do a couple sets not the whole workout but I want to take you guys through maybe explain a couple things um, see how my shoulder feels right we always kind of worry about you know after therapy you know is there going to be soreness and whatever else and it's just goes to show that the bicep tendon I thought it was shoulder pain where you know the bicep was really tight so uh, we'll get this get a workout in and uh, you know I released a YouTube video today on Cutler cast and a jaywalking okay it was kind of like what I want for Christmas on the on the jaywalk and then the other one was me myself Milos, Matt, and uh, Nick Walker, and of course it was about Nick confronting Milos and, uh, you know, giving opinions on the Arnold and everything else, so YouTube is right now having that cranking out, and this will be the next, this will be probably the next video, so a uh, little day in the life of, you know, that's what we kind of do, I got a lot of stuff going on business-wise, working on some some new bottle renders, you know, just getting ready for 24, man. 24 is going to be another one of those years. So, you know, a lot of people are uncertain about, you know, what's going on in the country and, you know, obviously the economy and everything else. So I want to keep you guys motivated. This video is going to hit as, uh, you know, hopefully before 24 starts. So give you guys incentive. Let's make 24. Let's start early. Let's make the plan early. Um, let's motivate each other. Keep commenting. Uh, tell me what plans you guys have for 24. I'd love that in some of the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, these are what your goals are going to be. And, you know, let's not talk about it. Let's be about it, you know. I know it's harder for some people. And, you know, we have to overcome a lot of obstacles. And, listen, it's not always been easy for me either. You know, may, people may look at me on a platform and think that, oh, uh, Jay's got it made and, you know, he's achieved this and achieved that. But, man, I still go through a lot of lot of trial and error with a lot of things, you know. And, you know, not everything I've done has been completely a success, success nor my relationships or, you know, listen, I've, I've had a lot of things that go up and down in my life, too. But I'm always positive. I'm always trying to spread that positivity. Let's see, we're ready to pull into uh, to Tivoli right now. Nice area right here. Cheesecake Factory is right next door. I always talk about that. I'm not going to be able to hit there tonight because it's going to close by 10 o'clock. But normally I'd eat some chicken and rice there probably like two, three times a week. So I'll keep you guys uh, in it. And, you know, let's see, uh, see where we end up. So I'm going to rest like 45, 60 seconds between each set. So six total sets here, two warm up and then four working sets. So we're going to do four sets here. It's a little more volume than I'm not going to lie. 
trying to focus on 10, 12 reps. Easy work. All right, so I just finished up. It's 11 o'clock. I'm gonna take these AirPods out. All right, so I just finished up with 30 minutes. 30 minutes of cardio. So I got shoulders in. I said I was gonna film pretty much all the sets, but I end up filming all the sets. Check this out get books here everything so I'm gonna sit and just kind of go over a couple things with you guys all right so uh, all in all pretty good workout guys um, it's a little later like I said than what I really wanted to do today is uh, Thursday so I have um, a couple calls in the morning so I'm starting to book crazy events for 24 uh, and trying to lock down a couple of my my contests we have one venue we're still trying to secure and i have a call with the accountant in the morning and really like i mentioned i'm working on some different stuff for the supplement line so i'm hoping the expansion in 24 um, i'll do a little more overseas business so there's a lot of countries like i want to go back to the middle east um, i'd love to uh, visit some of the asian countries also uh, all different parts of Asia uh, that would be a goal uh, for 24 I don't know when that can happen I don't have any plans yet for the Middle East or Asia but uh, you know the states obviously I'm, I'm super busy with a schedule and I have a couple things that I had to put off because 23 was so busy and you know since I since I did turn 50 this year I said, hey, I want to kind of pick and choose on what I do and try to piggyback some of these things to do some other things while I'm out and about. And I think, you know, that's kind of the key to kind of balance the travel a little bit. Uh, but it looks like Germany's a go. I'll be at FIBO. Uh, I'll be at the Arnold UK. I'll be at Arnold US. February 3rd, I'll be in New York. I'm working on an event in Massachusetts shortly after that, which hopefully I'm going to close tomorrow. Um, we have a couple events. There might be something at the end of January, which is actually on a weekday. Uh, we have the LA Fit Expo, which is the 20th weekend, 19th, 20th. So I'll be there. That usually kicks off the start of the year. But I am dedicated to continue to do the content. And I know it's a little harder for me to do. And I'm just going to kind of roll with it and do more of the vlogging stuff and just kind of let you guys sit back and witness a couple things that go on because... You know, everything is about consistency. And I talk about this a lot with my Cutler Club group and, you know, and I would like to get into, you know, I do want to have some team coaching for this year because I'm still getting a ton of emails from all you guys uh, out there that are trying to transform your bodies. And you're trying to find the time, you're trying to find the food, the balance, the workout routines, working around injuries. Um, as you, many of you know, I'm still doing a ton of tissue work. Uh, I just mentioned, you know, the bicep tendon. And that, by the way, this is the one I actually tore and had repaired. Uh, so 
you know, that is important to take care of your body. Remember, it starts with getting up in the morning with the water, um, doing some sort of exercise or stretching, get the mind um, kind of situated and really just focus on making the day uh, productive and kind of planning and everything. And I think really everything comes down to consistency, guys. I always say it, consistency in everything you do, whether it's schoolwork, relationships, being on time for things, committing to things, uh, and having follow through, you know, with proper timing and don't waste time. I mean, ton of us, and listen, I'm victim of this sometimes to get on social media. Like I said, I try to get on and I like, like post 10, I like to like 10 posts a day. I get on YouTube, I comment on that, TikTok, Snapchat, everything. It does get a bit taxing, I'll be honest. I mean, it's, it does take time to do. Uh, I have a team that helps in somewhat, but a lot of the times when you see me, commenting it is me uh and that takes time especially trying to do all my other things that i do in a day and listen i don't claim i'm the busiest guy out there i'm actually not um i don't have children um i i limit commitments these these days and some of you that know me close know about that um i just say no on a lot of things and i just won't overcommit to things so for me uh you know, I, I try to just, it's all about balance and just committing time to doing things that are productive for me and still, you know, working on the Jay Cutler brand and, you know, trying to give back as much as I can. And, you know, that can take time, especially with the travel schedule and trying to recoup from time change and everything else. But what my blessing is, is being able to come here and be able to train and, and kind of ha not have a lot of outside noise that bothers my mindset because I love to train, I love to focus. You know, there are a lot of sets that were done that weren't on camera that I tend to do, um, and that's it's really, really important for me. So I can't stress, guys, how much training helps me with my mind and obviously still helps with my physique too, but... Like tonight, I was super motivated. I mean, I, I said, you know, it's really late for me to train, but I actually had a really good workout. I was really zoned in. There wasn't any distractions here. Even filming, you know, with this new camera, I have this this pocket, uh, pocket, I don't know, you know what it's called. I forget, but it's just, it helps a lot uh, because it kind of, like I said, this this thing follows me. It's, it's a, lot, a lot easier to film. I can just turn it on and kind of kind of go with it. Um, so hopefully, um, you know, I'm going to go home and eat. It will be my, I think, fifth meal. I got five meals in today, and I'm pretty hungry, actually. So I'm going to have rice, and I'm probably going to have either chicken or, or some red meat. I don't think I'm going to have egg whites tonight because I don't know if it will carry me through. And I'm going to get up about 7 o'clock in the morning, so I'll probably go to bed about 1, and I'll get about six hours of sleep, hopefully. And uh, I'm sure Angie's asleep by this point because she's still on East Coast time. She was out there for a week for Christmas. But um, hopefully this won't be the last, it may be the last video of the year. Um, I did want to go to Gold's Venice. I don't know if I'm going to make it out there until after New Year's. But, you know, we'll see. I wanted to do the last workout of 23. But I don't feel like driving. I don't feel like driving. I don't really feel like flying. Although I do I need to use a ticket. They just told me today I have an $800 credit I need to use. And, of course, I have to use it for myself. I can't give it away. Otherwise, I'd give it away. But I ain't throwing it away like that. But, you know, I did cancel my Christmas plans. Uh, I didn't want to travel at Christmas. So I actually stayed home and had a nice, relaxing Christmas. Uh, and we're rolling into New Year's. So, you know, that's it. I'm going to get uh, in the car. I'm going to drive home. And I, I, instead of doing this in the car, I wanted to do it at the gym while I finished up. But I appreciate you guys so much. This is a little insight on the day. So we started the morning with the dogs. Uh, you got a little bit of that in there. Um, I went to the office. I did not film that. Uh, did some shipping and, and kind of handling business in that sense. I am looking at some properties. So I'm trying to work on that. And then I came home and you guys saw, you know, me feeding the dogs again and then I cooked some food and uh, you know ate a couple times got to chill out kind of relax my brain a little bit and then zoned in on the training so turned up the music loud tonight I'm not gonna lie I did some of the old school throwback stuff I listened to um, I listen to everything I listen to hip-hop I listen to Fleetwood Mac 
I listen to Peter Gabriel. I listen to uh, Juice World. What else I listen to? Some Drake, Metro Boomin I listen to. Uh, there was a bunch of stuff I listened to. I was just kind of going through. I was listening to some trans music, to be honest. I used to get on the treadmill when I was training for these shows. And I used to have to get this this steady trance music. And I know people like it's like club music or whatever, but for some reason it just that steady pace kept me moving for that one hour. I do that twice a day on the treadmill when I was training for like 90, 99 Iron Man, man. I killed it for that show. 2000 um, Night of Champions. I, I killed it for that. A lot of cardio and you know, and then it just kind of rolled after that. You know, I was fortunate enough not have to do so much cardio, but, you know, there's a lot of throwbacks, and I always talk about, you know, I haven't won the Olympia in like 13 years. It's been like 2010 was the last time I won, right? And you never imagined your relevancy would go that long, and, you know, I know a lot of people maybe fell off, and then that, and they started following me again after, you know, they did, you know, things after falling, you know, through their teenage years, you know, having kids, whatever else, going into careers. But, you know, a lot of you new kids are following this stuff. And, you know, I know uh, there's an age gap between some of, you know, the people that follow me or people of a relative because they're, you know, around my age, right? Um, and the truth is, is we never stop, right? We never stop. And, you know, everyone's aspirations and goals might be a little different. You know, mine was obviously to be the best in the world. And I still continue to s strive to be the best, um, I guess the best role model in a sense for someone that wants to stay motivated. I don't call myself a role model and say I'm the best at doing everything. Like I wasn't the best bodybuilder in the world. I don't think I'm the best business guy. I don't claim to be the best role model, but I'm a motivated person. Uh, I continue to spit out information through experience. Okay. Good and bad uh, for you guys to follow along. And, you know, I just try to be real with everyone and be honest and, I, I was facing burnout a while ago. I'm back to training now, but of course not the crazy volume. Uh, I did scale back some, although did tonight I did quite a bit actually because I was pretty motivated to train today. Uh, so sometimes I lie. <laughs> sometimes I say, you know what, I, I'm not going to train that hard. And then I come in and I crush it. And I'm not going to hide that from you guys though. I still come in here and uh, overdo it sometimes. But uh, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys comment below. Um, I talked about a lot of stuff here, but I'd love to hear your insight on your goals for 24. That was the big question is, are you going to follow through? Do not fall off. Let's stay with it, okay? And uh, let's keep crushing it, okay? Angie's calling as we speak right now. So shout out to you guys, okay? I'm, I got to take this call. We'll talk to you soon. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That game of thrones. Go Cersei on you. I flipped the script. I rolled the dice. Don't fall asleep, cause I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to shut me?